now we're trying 80s US. You get, well, you get 500. See, this is already misleading. You get 500 with the free software or up to 2 gigabyte if you click the share button in the wizard. Although you do get, on the paid version, you do get free upgrade to every latest version, so. Wow, they want you to really buy some stuff. But at least it's a lifetime guarantee, or at least it's lifetime upgrades. Okay, fail to run the program, please restart the computer or reinstall the program. The reason for this, I bet, is when I tried their other software, I noticed that it left like little programs here and there running. So you got two here, this is new. So just those three, and it puts something in the start menu, or the ser is it services menu? So you got monitor here. See, that put it back to two. You have to really watch these. If you cut it off and download another program, it cuts it back on. I don't know why they want stuff starting up with your computer. That put one on it. Disk drill. And here's why I've cut it off. So that's why that won't start. So with Ease US Data Recovery Wizard, free, it does recognize the partitions on the drive, the system partition and the recovery partition as well as the regular one. It does name you know this looks very familiar to the other layout of the other software don't it? Which one was that one? They also have a summer sale, but they don't have before misspelled on it. So we want to check this drive here. That's really only four or five minutes. I 
Okay, I'm gonna pause this and let this run for a little bit and try to catch it before it finishes. Okay, I kind of missed the end on that one. But it was going across over here as well. But it got over in here somewhere and then just quit. I expected it to go all the way to the end, but it, either it did it quicker or it just went this far. I don't know. So let's see what all we found. Well, whatever that is, you can't preview. Okay, none of those files were actually lost. That's the actual stuff that should have been there. So let's look up here. Okay, so I found both of them that was deleted. You can preview the videos in this one. There's a lot of these you can't preview. I think I gave up on this and oh no that's 25 minutes
and that file is past the limitation. Okay, that was getting loud. Okay, this is the same as that other software that had the hashtag thing. I'm going to go back and look at what I recorded earlier because this re this is seriously reminding me of the other it's like the Chinese manufacturers they use one product and just rename it 40 different companies or something but do I have that 0715 or is this actually a lost one and where would it be Okay, so that's this one. Is it not? That camera don't focus where the poo does it. This is saying 25 minutes, 15 seconds. I believe that's the same video. Oh, they're all really big. Okay, that's under 500. I'm not going to fool with the sharing or whatever it was. Not really a small video file, are they? Yeah, okay, that's a small file. Let's see if it'll recover it. And it asks you where to put it. I'm going to put it in this one, same place.
and it don't play. Oh, I see why it didn't play. That wasn't a hundred uh, megabytes. That was a, a thousand megabytes. So that was over the limit. And it also tells you where it's at. But overall, I think it's pretty good. It did find a lot of the files. Maybe even all of them. What does that keep doing? Maybe it's got some kind of stupid error in it. Okay, that one won't play. Okay, I guess any of them that you don't get a preview won't play. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Count them with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was already checked. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This bar to grab a hold of is too skinny. Was that fifteen, sixteen? So I got 16 recoverable files. I think the software might have an error in it or something. Or a virus. Okay, do I have that one already over here? here and there's 17 so it's found the same number of files as the other software that 
And I'm thinking it was like So this one I think done good. I would say very good in a way, I guess. It found all the files. And it has that wicked preview. That gives it a ver that takes it from good to pretty good. Because I really like that preview. But it's still expensive, super, super expensive. Seventy dollars. So I'm going to give it a very good, it's usable. If you want to promote it on social media or something, you get two gigabytes to do for free. And that should pretty much wrap it up. So I don't have any more freebies on it. So let's close it. Oh, and the reason it doesn't get a great rating. Is because it leaves stuff on your computer, I think. Let me double check. And I left that on there. left its program on there and it still didn't shut off. Even though I've closed it out. Okay, so I don't think it's coming back. So that's annoying that it doesn't like completely go away. Let me check one other thing here. It does, I didn't see anything on here. Well, anything extra other than what it had already left on there from the first software. Did it add anything to this? No, but that did. So I'm going to have to shut everything down and restart the computer because about three or four things is needed to do that. So I'm going to stop this one here. And I think that maybe all of them that I'm actually going to review. Now this might be the only sale they have going on at the time I've done this. I don't mind paying for software, but 
I'll look at it as what I'm getting. See, in, in my opinion, you may only make this mistake once in 10 years or something or another. And I didn't really... I may have recovered. I, got, I still got to go back and check that. I may have recovered one file that I hadn't already transferred to the computer on that card. I think they all, unless, except for maybe the very last one, I think all of them had already been uh, copied over. So for $70... Although it is for the lifetime, well, it says lifetime live chat and email support. Free upgrade to every latest version. So apparently, it's not that bad a deal, but I don't know. I guess you'd have to decide that for yourself, but and since I'm done, I don't want anything getting installed. <laughs> well, I'm not paying attention. So that pretty much concludes it. Well, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you like the video. Or give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video. Just give me a thumbs up. Or both. Thumbs down to leave comments, questions in the comment section down below. And I will continue, hopefully, to make videos that you continue to give thumbs down to. I don't know. Should I have shared this on social media and done more of it? Oh, it should have told me that that would exceed the thing rather than trying to do 500 megabytes of it and then just quitting because then the file won't even play. I think in a way that's kind of a sneaky engineering way to do that, oh, well, now he's messed up, so he's got to go, you know, give us a shout-out on social media. I bet this wasn't the shout-out that they were expecting. And junk like that, I just can't stand, because you know that's programmed in there. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Oh, now I gotta go through all the trouble to uninstall all this poop. Because I'm only keeping the one.